Assalamualaikum and welcome back So to this video, we are going to discuss about composite functions At the end of this video, you should be able to represent a composite function by an arrow diagram Find composite function Find one of the functions when the composite and the other functions are given Composite function for f and g can be represented as follows So g of x equals to y f of y equals to z. So this is the composite function that maps from x to z, which is f of gx. Or you can write as f bracket gx. So this is clear that y is the image of x under function g, and z is the image of y under function f. So we can say that g is the object for the function f, which is f of g. Okay, now we will look at example 1. If fx equals to x squared and gx equals to x plus 1, find f of gx. Okay, so this is the solution. So our function fx is x squared and gx is x plus 1 and we need to find f of g of x. So you can write that as f bracket gx. And we substitute gx here, so we know that gx is x plus 1. So I put x plus 1 here, and now I need to substitute our new x into our function f, which is x squared. So I substitute x plus 1 into x squared, I get x plus 1 squared. So this is the answer. Now we will proceed to b, we need to find g of fx. So you will do the same thing, you just substitute fx. Now, our fx is x squared, so I put x squared here. And now, I need to substitute x squared into our function g, which is x squared plus 1. So, this is the answer for g of fx. Okay, now f of f of x. So, fx, we substitute x squared into our function. So, we will get f bracket x squared. And then you substitute again your new x into your function f. So, I have x squared squared, which is x4. Now, d, I have g of g of x. So, gx here is x plus 1. So, I substitute my gx. Now, I need to substitute my new x into my function g, which is x plus 1 plus 1. So, I will get x plus 2. Okay, now E, we need to compare fgx and fx dot gx. So, the answer is, we know that this is not the same because fgx is x plus 1 square, whereas fx dot gx is x square bracket x plus 1. Example 2, given that fx equals to x plus 3 square minus 1 and gx equals to 4x minus 7, we need to evaluate g of f negative 1 and verify that g of f negative 1 is not equal to f of g negative 1. So we will look at the answer. Okay, so this is our functions. So we need to find first g of f negative 1. So we have g bracket f negative 1. And first thing is we need to substitute negative 1 into our function f. So it will be negative 1 plus 3 square minus 1. So we simplify in the bracket first. So we will get 3. And now you have to substitute 3 into your function g. So you have 3 here 3, 4, 3 minus 7. So you will get 5. Now we need to find f of g negative 1 because we need to compare with this. So this one will be f bracket g negative 1. Okay, now we substitute negative 1 into our function g. So we will get 4 negative 1 minus 7. And then we simplify in the bracket here. We will get negative 11. So what you have to do next is substitute negative 11 into our function f. So we have negative 11 plus 3 square minus 1. So you should get 63. Now you can compare between these two composite functions. So you can see that g of f negative 1 is not equal to f of g negative 1. B, we need to find f square 4. So given that you have f square so you know that this is f bracket f4 so 4 we substitute into our function f 
Again, this is our function f. So we have 4 plus 3 square minus 1. I simplify in the bracket, so we will get 48. So I substitute 48 into my function f. So you should get 48 plus 3 square minus 1. And you simplify this, you should get 2600. Okay, now C, we need to find F for bracket square. So, this one is actually the answer for function F4 and then you square the answer. So, first you need to find F4. So, I substitute 4 into my function F. So, I have 4 plus 3 square minus 1 which is 48. And now, I square my function F4. So, this one should be 48 square and my answer is 2, 3, 0, 4. So I need to compare between B and C. So we can see that B and C is not the same. So this is the exercise for today's video. So you have function f x 7 minus x square and g x equals to set x minus 2. So you need to find f of g and g of f. And then lastly, you need to compare your answers in A and B and state your conclusion. So please write the answers and submit to your tutorial lecturer. Example 3, given that function f x equals to 2 over x, g x equals to 2x plus 4, and h x equals to 2x squared. So A, you need to find f of g of h. So this one is actually f bracket g of h, right? So you settle the one on the most right, which is function h. So we know that function h is actually 2x squared. So 2x squared, we substitute into our function g, which is here. So this one will be 2 bracket 2x squared plus 4. Okay, so this one is the answer. So we settle the one in the bracket. So it will be 4x squared plus 4. Okay, now what you have to do, you substitute this one again into your function f. So it will be 2 over x, isn't it your function f? So you substitute into this function, you will get 2 over 4x squared plus 4. So you simplify into the simplest form, it will be 1 over 2x squared plus 2. So B and C is actually the same, so you have to go through this question by your own. Example 5, given that function f x equals to 2x plus 1, find the function g if f of g equals to 6x plus 11. So we know that f of g is actually f bracket g x. So we compare these two. So we know that f of g is 6x plus 11 from here equals to, so we don't know what is g x, so we just put g x here. We substitute into our function f. So this is our function f. So it will be 2 bracket, we don't know yet, plus 1. So now I put 1 into the left side. So this one will be 6x plus 11. This one put the left will be minus 1, right? So this one will become 6x plus 10. Okay, now this one will left with 2 bracket gx. So I simplify, I put 2 to the right side. So it will be 3x plus 5. So this is my function gx.